Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Softy webcast. In this video guide, we are going to see the steps on how to set the group policy to automatically backup BitLocker recovery key information to Active Directory. So we can centrally manage the BitLocker recovery keys or passwords in a one place. A BitLocker recovery key can be used to access your encrypted system drive if you are having problems unlocking your system drive on your computer. When the numbers of computers in company network is not very large, administrator can monitor the keys and passwords manually. But in case when the numbers of machines on the network is more than 100, this task becomes much more complicated. In such case, we can use group policy. Group policies allows us to configure BitLocker so that the backups of BitLocker keys and recovery keys are stored in computer object in the active directory. Each BitLocker recovery object has a unique name and contains a globally unique identifier for the recovery password and optionally a package containing the keys. So without wasting time, let's start the practical part. For this video, we are using the TSLab created in VirtualBox. We have two Windows Server 2019 virtual machine for this demo. One is our domain controller and the second one is our member server. So this is our domain controller with the host name ws2k19 dc01. This video guide is divided into four major parts. In the step one, we will set up group policy to store BitLocker recovery key in Active Directory. In the step number two, we will install BitLocker drive encryption on our member server. In the step number three, we will enable BitLocker on Server 2019 operating system and test it. And in the last step, we will verify that the does BitLocker recovery key automatically store in Active Directory or not. So without wasting time, let's move to step number one. Let's open Group Policy Management Console. On Server Manager Console, click on Tools and select Group Policy Management. On Group Policy Management Console, expand Group Policy Objects. Let's right click here and select New. For this demonstration, I am giving name Backup Beat Locker Recovery Keys in AD Policy to our GPU. Let's click on OK. Let's click on Newly Created GPU. Right click on it and select Edit. On Group Policy Management Edit Console, under Computer Configuration, we need to expand policies. Then we need to expand administrative templates and under administrative templates, we need to expand windows components. Under windows components, we need to click on BitLocker drive encryption. The first policy which we need to enable is store BitLocker recovery information in Active Directory domain services. Let's double click on it. Let's select enable, click on apply and click on OK. Okay, now let's expand BitLocker drive encryption. Let's click on operating system drives because we need to set up one more policy. As you know that we are using virtual machines for this demonstration and in virtual machine we don't have access to TPM chip. So we want to enable BitLocker drive encryption without using TPM chip. And for that we need to set up one more policy and that is require additional authentication as a startup. Let's double click on it. And let's enable this policy. Fine. Make sure you select this checkbox, which is selected by default. Allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM. It requires a password or a startup key on a USB flash drive. Fine. Click on Apply and click on OK. Here we need to set up one more settings related to BitLocker protected operating system drives. Let's select the settings. Choose how BitLocker protected operating system drives can be recovered. Let's double click on it. Let's select the policy. Allow data recovery agent. And here you need to make sure you select this checkbox. Save BitLocker recovery information to Active Directory domain services for the operating system trial. And here you can see one option is there. Configure storage of BitLocker recovery information to ADDS. Here we have options to store recovery password and key packages to Active Directory or you can select store recovery password only. But for this demonstration, we want to store recovery password and key packages as well. Fine. Let's click on apply. 
and click on OK. Now we have successfully configured the group policy to store BitLocker recovery key information in the Active Directory. Suppose if you want to enable BitLocker drive encryption for your other drive, uh, means other than system drive, that time you need to set up that policy from fixed drive settings. And if you want to enable that policy to remove the data drive, that time you need to enable those settings from here. Fine. Now I'm going to close this group policy management editor console. Let's close it. Now we need to link this uh, newly created GPO to our OU or at a domain level. But for this demonstration, already I have created one OU with the name test server accounts. And under this OU, I have stored computer account of our member server. So you want to link that GPO to our OU test server accounts. So let's expand these to you and let's click on test server accounts. Let's right click here and select link an existing GPU. Let's select the GPU, backup beat locker recovery keys in AD policy. Fine. Let's click on OK. Then we have successfully linked that GPU to our OU. Fine. So step one is completed successfully. Now let's move to step number two in which we are going to install BitLocker Drive encryption feature on our member server. This is our member server with the host name WS2K19 SRV02. Let's click on Manage, select Add Rules and Features, click on Next, Next again. Our local server is already selected WS2K19 SRV02. Let's click on Next to continue, Next again. And here I'm going to select BitLocker Trail Encryption. Let's select the checkbox. Click on Add Features to add required features as well. Click on Next. And click on Install to start the installation process. Okay, as you can see, BitLocker Trail Encryption feature has been successfully installed to our member server and it is telling us that restart is pending. So let's close this console, let's close Saw Manager and let's restart our member server. Fine, after restart, let's again log into our member server using the credential of our domain admin. Okay, so we have successfully installed BitLocker Drive encryption feature on our member server. In the next step, we are going to enable BitLocker for our Windows Server 2019 operating system and we will test it. But before we do that, we want to test whether group policy is successfully applying on our member server or not. So let's go back to our member server. I'm going to open run menu. At run menu, I'm going to type command rsop.msc. Okay, let's uh, click on computer configuration, expand admin templates, expand windows component and click on BitLocker drive encryption. You can see the policy is currently, it is applying from the GPO BitLocker recovery keys in AD policy. That means, that group policy is successfully applying on our member server. Let's close this console. Click on No. Fine. Now we are going to enable BitLocker on our Windows Server 2019 operating system. Let's open Control Panel. Click on System and Security. Click on BitLocker Drive Encryption. And for C drive, as you can see, BitLocker is currently turned off. So let's click on Turn on BitLocker to enable BitLocker on our C drive. It will start a new wizard. Fine, it is asking us that how you want to unlock your system drive at a startup. We are going to select Enter a password. Once you provide a strong password, click on Next to continue. Here it is asking us that how do you want to back up your BitLocker recovery key. You can back up this key to USB flash drive, to a file on a local system or on a remote share folder or you can print the recovery key. But for this video demonstration, we are not going to save BitLocker recovery key because that's why we have set up that group policy because we want to save our BitLocker recovery key inside Active Directory. So simply I'm going to click on next button. Here it is asking us that how much of your system drive you want to encrypt. We are going with the default selection, encrypt use disk space only, which is faster and based for new PCs. Click on next. Here it is asking us to choose which encryption mode we want to use. 
For this demonstration, we want to use new encryption mode, which is based for fixed drive on this device. Let's click on next. This box is selected, run beat logger system check, which ensures that the beat logger can read recovery and encryption key correctly before encrypting the system drive. Let's click on continue. Here it is asking us that we need to restart a computer. Let's click on restart now to restart this server. On startup, we have to enter our beat locker password which we have set up to unlock our system drive. Once we provide the password, we need to press enter key and after successful verification of our password, server will boot up. So let's press enter key to continue. Let's log into our member server. Let's press with the password and hit enter key. Encryption will perform in a background. The process can take a long time depending on the size of your system drive, but you can continue working on your computer while the operation completes automatically. Let's verify that. Open control panel. Click on system and security. Click on BeatLocker drive encryption. And here you can see for C drive, BeatLocker is currently encrypting the drive. Fine. But on a graphical user interface, we are not able to see how much process is completed. For that, we can use a Windows PowerShell. So let's right click on Start button. Select Windows PowerShell Admin. Let me change the font size. Okay. Add a Windows PowerShell. I'm going to run command get hyphen beat locker volume space hyphen mount point and which is a C drive in our case. So our command will be get hyphen beat locker volume space hyphen mount point and the drive later. Let's press enter key. Here you can see the encryption percentage is 90 percentage and the currently encryption is in progress. It is going to take some time. So we are going to wait for a few more minutes and then again we will run the same command. After waiting for a few minutes, let's again run the same command get hyphen beat locker volume space hyphen mount point C colon. Let's press enter key. And this time you can verify the volume status is fully encrypted and the encryption percentage is at 100%. Let's minimize Windows PowerShell. Let's verify the same thing on control panel. Now, this time under operating system, you can see for C drive, beat locker status is currently turned on. We have certain options to suspend protection, backup your recovery key, change password, etc. This means we have successfully enabled BeatLocker Drive encryption for our Windows Server 2019 operating system. In the last step, we are going to verify that the DERS BeatLocker recovery key automatically stored in Active Directory or not. Let's open Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping. Let's click on mylab.local and click on refresh button. Let's expand our OU. Let's click on TSS of accounts OU. Let's select the computer account of our member server. Let's right click on it and go for the properties. Here, as of now, we are not able to see any tab or settings related to BeatLocker recovery key. Let's click on OK. Let's minimize this console. I'm going to open Server so Manager console. Let's click on manage, select add rules and features, click on next, next again, next again, next again. Scroll little bit on select feature page, expand remote server administration tools, expand feature administration tools, expand beat locker drive encryption and we are going to select this checkbox, beat locker drive encryption administration utilities. But if you directly selecting think these options from this console, you are not able to select certain options which we need. And we are more interested about BeatLock Recovery Password Viewer. Fine, let's select it. So make sure you select not from here, from here. Because we want to install BeatLocker Recovery Password Viewer. Fine, let's click on next and click on install to start the installation. So in short, we want to install BeatLocker Recovery Password Viewer feature. Okay, installation completed successfully. Let's close this console. 
Let's go back to our Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping. Let's click on Refresh button. Let's again select the computer account of our member server. Right click on it and go for the properties. Now this time, as you can see, we have a one more tab with the name BeatLocker Recovery. Let's click on it. And here you can see on the BeatLocker Recovery tab, we can find BeatLocker Recovery Password. This is the password ID. And here we have a details about recovery password. This is the our recovery key. And this is the our password for computer ws2k19-sf02.mylab.local. After seeing this information under Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping, we can verify that the BitLocker recovery key automatically and silently stored in Active Directory using the group policy. One more thing is that which I want to show you. Let's go back to our member server. Let's close everything. And let's restart our member server. Okay, it is going to ask us to provide the password to unlock our system drive. Here we have our options to press escape for the recovery purpose. So let's press escape key. And here you can see recovery key ID is there. Fine. It is starting with 5B10D608. Let's match this recovery key ID with the information which we have under Active Directory. Here you can verify that the same password ID is there 5B10D608. Now, suppose in case if you forgot that password to unlock your system drive, that time you can use this recovery password to unlock your member server. Fine. So, this is the way how we can set up the group policy to automatically backup BitLocker recovery key information to Windows Server 2019 Active Directory. That concludes our video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video.